This is Ian Lamont from Lean Media. Today I'm going to show you how to create an Amazon post using Canva and some other assets I've prepared. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me. Let's get going. So I'm going to be using several tools in order to put together some new Amazon posts. And this is a feature in Amazon advertising. Not all sellers have access to it, but I do because I have several brands. And basically what I'm doing is I'm creating some simple graphics to put uh, up onto the Amazon posts in the lead up to Christmas and the holiday season. So you can see I've created a couple of these basic images, last minute holiday gifts, and uh, I, I used it with a template from Canva. This is a pro level account, so I'm paying I think 20 or $30 per month for this particular tool, but they give you access to all of these different templates. So I chose one of them. There's also some free templates, like you can see this is a free template right here. And I used one of the paid templates that's included with a subscription. I modified it to look like this. So that's, that's step one. The next step is going to Amazon Advertising. So open up your Amazon Advertising console, click on the Tools and Resources grid there, and then click on Posts. And you'll come to this. And you can see I have a whole bunch of posts lined up, um, including one that is currently being reviewed. So I'm going to add a new post. All you need to do, press the Create Post button. So there's a couple assets that you need. There's the image, and I've already showed you that I created some images. There's a caption, and then there's an ASIN list. And so what I do for these different, for these diff, for each one of these fields, I just showed you Canva already. For the caption, I have a uh, a Google Sheet spreadsheet with reviews and comments that real customers have left me, and some of them are fantastic for this particular purpose. So I've already already set these out. And I'm going to use one of these captions. It's actually uh, based on a review. The other thing that I need is an ASIN list. And basically what I've done is I have a couple different ASIN lists of different types of products that I can use. And I can just copy and paste these right into the Amazon Post Console. So let's get going. I'm going to go back to Google Chrome. And I'm going to upload an image. So I've already done... Let's do this one. So this is one of the Im images I just created in Canva. It uploads it. Note that there is an image size requirement, 640 by 320 PX or larger. So with Canva templates, that's no problem because most of them are usually, you know, at least twice that size. Uh, but just you just check before you before you uh, start designing to make sure the template's the right size. I'm just using a square template. I think it's called Instagram Post or something like that. So it, it automatically will fit this. This is more than enough. Um, and then you can see that it fits okay. You can also look, sometimes you can look at the different types of post interactions, but this looks all right to me. Last minute holiday gifts. Of course, you need to pay attention to whatever the Amazon guidelines are for including text in images. It used to be 20%. I'm not even sure what they've what it is right now, but generally they seem to be pretty receptive to adding text on images. So that's what I'm going to do. And then the caption. So let's go back to that spreadsheet. I'm going to search for gifts because this is a, a this is a type of... Uh, Thing that is people are looking for this time of year. So I've already used that text. I'm going to use another one. Let's see what I can find here. Okay, here's a good one. I did the family binder genealogy gift last year for our boys and their family. So I'm going to use that one. I'm going to paste it right in. It's a little bit long. You can see it's getting cut off. So what I'm going to do is shorten it. And maybe what I can do also is add a check mark. Sometimes Amazon doesn't like it. Sometimes they don't really care. Okay. So then ASINs. So I want to be sure that I include the, the same product here. So I do have that. And let's go to the kit ASINs. I think it's one of these. So I just copy and paste it in. Add. Okay. Actually, this is, this is not the right one. So I'm going to have to eliminate those. But I know there's one. I think it's this one of these two. Some people, of course, use a spreadsheet to do all this. Okay, so this is definitely one of them. Let's get rid of that one. All right, so these are good starts. And then I'm going to use another type of more expensive product. And I think I'll do this one. And then add. Okay, so that's good. And then schedule the post. Because I just released one post today, or it's pending right now, I'm going to schedule this one for a few days in advance. 
16th, 1.24 p.m. I'm going to change that to EST. Actually, let's change this to 12.24 p.m. Okay. Submit for a review. So that will get people on the weekend. And we'll see. Of course, they're going to review it. They may reject it, but I haven't had that experience. I try to follow Amazon's guidelines. But that's the quick and easy way to, to, uh, to get up a an Amazon post using Canva and a spreadsheet of, of assets that I have. If this video helped you out, please take a moment to like it and follow me. Also, if you go to leanmedia.org, I have all these free blog posts and videos there. Go to leanmedia.org, click on blog or video, and you can see all of this stuff that I'm writing and preparing to help other sellers get the most out of various Amazon programs as well as Shopify and other sorts of online selling tools. This is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.